Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to find the happy number. So here, this is similar to our previous program that is a magic number. So, so if you find recursively the sum of individual digits until the sum becomes a single digit and one, we call it as a magic number. The same process will apply for this happy number also. So let me write the definition first and then we'll see the logic. So recursively finding sum of squares of individual digits, individual digits until the sum becomes single digit single digit and if the final single digit sum is equal to 1 then we call it as happy number happy number so recursively we are supposed to find the squares of individual digits okay so if the sum of individual digits and finally we get the sum as one we call it as a magic number if you find the sum of squares of individual digits and finally we if you get one then we call it as a happy number see example let us take an example so consider n is equal to 13 so we need to find whether 13 is a happy number or not so for that we have to do the sum of sum is equal to 1 square 1 square so I am writing some 1 into 1 plus 3 into 3 so sum of squares of individual digits so which is equal to which is equal to 1 plus 9 which is equal to 10 now again sum is equal to so now it is 10 right so this is for 13 this is for 13 and now the sum becomes 10 now right so which is not a single digit so again we need to find the sum of squares so 1 into 1 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0 so which is equal to 1 and it is a single digit it is a single digit and equals to 1 right so n is happy number happy number so we should get 1 for recursively finding the sum of squares of individual digits so one more example let us take one more example so n is equal to some 19 I take the n is equal to 19 second example now so 19 so we need to find the sum sum is equal to so 1 into 1 plus 9 into 9 right so what we get 1 plus 81 so which is equal to 82 so this is a two digit number not an individual digit again we have to find the sum 82 and sum is equal to sum is equal to 8 into 8 plus 2 into 2 so which is nothing but a 64 plus 4 so which is 68 again it is not an individual digit we have to repeat one more one more time so 68 if you use a sum is equal to 6 into 6 plus 8 into 8 so which is nothing but 36 plus 64 so which is equal to 100 and again this is not a single digit again we need to repeat the same process so we need to find the sum for individual digits of 100 so 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 so which is equal to 1 plus 0 plus 0 
is equal to 1. So finally we got 1 as a result that means a single digit and that is also equal to 1 right. So it is a single digit and again this is equal to 1. So that implies 19 is happy number. So if you get like this so recursive sum of squares of individual digits until it reaches to single digit and if that single digit is equal to 1 we call it as a happy number right now we'll see the logic written in python so we'll write the logic in python so first let us read the value so n is equal to int of input write down enter number right now let us take one more variable and initialize that one to yeah, uh, that particular number to that particular variable and we have to repeat until the sum becomes single digit so for that purpose we will write while x greater than or equal to 10 so until this condition becomes true the loop will be repeated that means we will store the sum in x so after every iteration the x will be having the sum and now initialize sum is equal to 0 because we need to find that and while so the remaining logic is same while x is greater than 0 so we need to find the sum of squares so first we need to find the remainder r is equal to x mod 10 we will get a remainder that means individual digit and we have to add that to sum so which is nothing but a power that means a square right square so simply we can use r double star 2 which is an exponential operator so sum will be there now we have to reduce the three digit number to two digit, two digit number by using x is equal to x floor division of 10 so we we have we know all these code right so first a first first instruction to find the individual digit second instruction to find the sum of that particular square and the third one to reduce the three digit to two digit right and after that just send a sum assign sum to x so that it will check here whether it is a single digit or not so if it is not a single digit if, if it is a greater than or equal to 10 again the same process will be repeated for x value so x holds the sum of current iteration so this is a iterator iteration for every iteration the sum value will be changed and that will be assigned to x x so finally if x is equal to is equal to 1 simply we can say it as so n is a happy number and else that's a false case simply we can print n is not a happy number right so if I execute here I will go with a 19 so we'll get 19 is a happy number because we are keep on executing this one so you can observe here so after every iteration you can print the sum you can print the sum Let's see so that you will be getting clarity see if i go with 19 sorry see first sum is equal to 81 next sum is equal to 82 next sum is equal to 4 68 64 and finally we got the 100 right so some 0 0 1 for individual digits we are writing right so if you place here we will get a final sum see 82 is the first sum second sum 68 third iteration we got 100 in the fourth iteration we got a 1 right first iteration it is 82 so again we need to find the 8 square plus 2 square which is nothing but 68 68 again we have to use a 6 square plus 8 square which is 100 and again we need to find 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square which is 1 so 19 is a happy number and if you execute the 13 simply we will get a 10 and 1 so if you go with any any other number 45 see so we got a single digit but it's not a 1 right so first sum is 41 next sum is 17 next 50 25 29 85 89 145 42 20 and finally we got a single digit number but it is not equal to 1 so that's why 45 is not a happy number right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much